everyone, Natasha and Luna. Luna here, otherwise known as Adelina, and we are excited to do another DOC bucket. So we're going to declutter, organize, and clean one area of our home in about 15 minutes. If you've been following along, this is um, an idea I got from Sophia over at My Great Challenge, and I'll link her uh, playlist below as well as mine. So we are up to, I think this is number 13. This is our 13th area of the home that we decluttered. So let's take a peek and see what Miss Luna is going to pick out for us to do today. And if you'd like to follow along, once we announce where we're headed, then you'll have about 15 minutes to go to that area of your home as well and see if we can declutter, organize, and clean, or DOC. She's got us all set up. These are the ones we've done before. Do you want to open this one up while you're one. counting? Oh, you're going to count for us. 10, 11. Is that 11? 12. 12. So this is number 13. Okay, we'll let you see first where are we headed. And what does it say? Oh, it says, do you know that word? Kitchen. And it's medicine. So we have a little cabinet in the kitchen where we keep mostly the children's um, pain reliever and allergy medicine and things like that. So we'll head over to that little cabinet and we'll get started doing some decluttering, organizing, and cleaning. Okay, so here we are in the kitchen. We're next to the stove top. And this little cabinet here is where we house a variety of things. So we'll open it up and kind of show you. I have my little cheat sheets of measuring uh, charts, my um, pediatric quick reference guide from the pediatrician's office as far as dosages of medicines, and my grandma's um, chocolate chip cookie recipe. I make it so often I just keep it taped inside the cabinet here, and I'll link that recipe below. And the very top is, let's see if you can see that. So very tippity top is a chart from her school about when to stay home and when to come to school if you're sick. Then in this little tray, I keep all my measuring cup and spoons and I just have some salt tucked um, to the side. And then I have a mortar and pestle that my dad made in the back that I use for uh, combining herbs. And then this is our baking supply shelf and cabinet. Let's tip it up just a little so you can kind of see. So in here I keep all of the things I use for baking on a regular basis. So salt, baking powder, baking soda, um, van vanilla, things like that. So right alongside here is one little collection of medicines as well as this basket up here. And these are actually some really nice, uh, re I think it's pronounced Riedel, Riedel, I'm not sure. They're really nice uh, wine glasses I got for my husband, but it would actually be good to move those to a different cabinet. So we might have a little ending organizing in a separate cabinet if we get to that. But let's start with pulling down the medicines from these two areas. And we're probably gonna need Luna to step down so we can use our countertop here, okay? All right, and you know what? I'm gonna grab our timer because we forgot to start a timer. Mommy. I know. So let's do 10 minutes on our timer since we kind of did some talking to start with. So we've got 10 minutes going on the timer and I'm sure we'll, can you see it? There it is. <laughs> we'll start. Okay. So let's see what I can reach in here. So I also have my stash of matches up here where no, there. Don't need matches. Don't need those. Those are a little out of the way for matches. And then this is some medicine. So we have that sleepy time. Let's take this tray out so we can make sure we're getting everything. Okay. Peek. Peek up there. So we have this medicine. And, oops, this medicine. And oh, I did not realize I had my olive oil spray back there. That's not a good spot because I'm not remembering to use it. So I'm going to put this back where it belongs in my pantry. Mommy! I know, silly me. I'll put this cup right here. Okay, now let's get out this, which is our thermometer. We do need that. 
And this little tray here. We got a few other things. I'm green. Back. You're green, good. <laughs> I'm glad to know your temperature is okay. And this one. So next, we've taken everything out. You can see there, the only thing left are the glasses and the shelf at the very tippity top. That basket up there just has some of my smaller um, vases that I use for flowers, like the little individual bud vases. And that works. I know where they are and they're kind of still out of the way. So I'm going to leave this those there. looks like it might have mold in it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. We need to look at the dates on some of these. So this is infant's ibuprofen for up to 23 months. And how old are you? Six. Six? So you're way older than 23 months and this expired in 2017. So that's one we can get rid of. And what I'm going to do is double check. I think our local, either the hospital or the ambulance district will take medicines and dispose of them properly. So we'll make sure we check with them and find out how to get rid of them. But this is the same way that expired in 2017. <laughs> I know, that was a long time ago, both of those. This one okay. kind of looks moldy on a jar, see? Looks moldy a little bit. Well, that's just kind of the sugar, but that also expired in 2019. So what else do we have here? This one, 2016. Plus a lot of these are just almost gone. There's really only one dose. And these two were from when she had, I think, strep. And they are both expired in 2018. Easy peasy when we're talking about that. This is oh, 2000. Don't forget, wait. Oh yeah, this is 2014. This, this one is has never been open. Clove oil for teeth relief. Now this might be one of the newer ones that I've purchased since you've been an older kid. So let's see. Yeah, it looks like a really brand new one. Yeah, so this is a brand new one. This expires in 2020, so we're good on that. Okay, we, we probably don't need this box. So we can just <laughs> Yeah, we don't need that. a box. We don't need that. And the Orjo, I don't think we need either because I'm pretty sure that's from when you were a baby and you were teething. You're not teething anymore, so nope. we can get rid of that. Nope, I'm not teething. Right. This is well, children's ibuprofen, so I know that's probably something brand new that I just bought. Yep, expires 21. We're good with that, but we can recycle the box. Yep, anything that recycles go over there. So these are 30 uh, melatonin tablets. Sleep with melatonin supplements. So I think I got these when you were younger and I was hoping they would help you sleep but they don't expire until the end of this year so we can start trying to use those if we think we need them yeah I don't know we might need we might not even need those if you're able to go to sleep on your own yeah. I know. but we do have to get to bed earlier for school yeah so okay. we can use those for school. this is another brand new one I am going to take it out of the box yeah so we have so Less can... boxes up there. We'll just double check. But okay, 2021. So we're good with that. You bought us then some. Then these I just bought the other day when you were having some tummy troubles. So we know those are good. Yeah. And that's brand that really new. Well. Oh, this, oh, this is the amoxicillin from when you were little, and that's 2019. So, and it even looks a little funky. I think we're definitely going to get rid of that. So. That's looking a lot better. What about what this is, one? And that one's brand new, so we can just recycle our box. And we've got our jar, so you can put that there. Um, so these are the new ones, those yep. are the old ones. Yep. Yeah. Thermometer in your forehead, the distance of the sensor will be, should be about five centimeters. Okay. That's all I need to know, so we can recycle that, we can recycle that, and I'm these were from box. when we were at the dentist. You're opening that box? Okay. Yep, this and should this... be what's inside of it. Oh, these are the little things to put on a different type of thermometer to make sure it stays clean. What are those? They're like a little plastic sleeve to put over thermometers. Oh. I could give these to my nurse at school. Yeah. Because she... Because, see, needs these, she just uses, she just uses, 
plastic hard ones, so these would be perfectly fine. Okay, if she will use them, you can try giving them to her. Let's put them in a little bit. Because he has bag. the same pattern from all the, the and these kind of. Oh, suit gotcha. That okay, so let's, give, need to be let's used. give her a little bag of those. And if you want to put those in here and then put them in your backpack, then we can give them to your nurse at school. Okay? Okay. Okay, so we've got rid of quite a few things. So I think what I'd like to do is, oh, and the other thing is, I just want to make sure these are all clean. matched and they look clean and we're good to go. We probably don't need this scoop. I think that was from formula, which we hardly ever used formula for you. And this broke off of one, so we can just throw that away along with this. Whoops. Mommy. Can you throw that away, please? Thank you. And then why don't you run and put this in your backpack, too, while you're yes, yes, yes. doing that. Thank you so yes. much. Well, okay. It even is my backpack. Your backpack should be in your room. So, this is what we're keeping. Let's see if it all fits in here. Wait, I want to do it. Okay, you, you see if it all fits in that basket. And this, we decided we don't need this either. Okay, so we got that. Fitting? Oh, there's our timer. Awesome. But so wait, have... I haven't even finished. Okay, and then I don't think I'm going to wipe them down just really quick. Well, I did this. Okay, that works. You just got them in there like that. So she has us all organized into the one basket. That's awesome. And we've got a spot right here for all of our little cups, measuring cups if we need them. And what are these looking That was, um, those are from when we went to the dentist. They were just little gauze pads. We could probably actually put these in our medicine cabinet in the bathroom. No, where we keep, oh, you're going to use them? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this came off of a different type of medicine dropper, but we've lost it. So we can throw that away. But actually, there is a way to use it. Too. Well, I don't think we need it for that. If you want to use it for your baby dolls, yeah. you can. Oh, and that one's missing the bottom. I thought it was two parts together, but you can have both of these to use for your babies if you want. Okay? All right. So, we have greatly reduced the number of medicines. So, we just really have this one little basket I want this to be a and our thermometer jar. that just sits right up there. And you're going to use the jar. Okay? Yeah. Then, yeah, let me grab... Awesome. Okay. And then we'll put our container of baking supplies back yeah. in. You can have this bag back, Mom. I think. Oh, okay. And then, whoops, last thing yeah. is our collection of matches. And that can now just slide back in there. Okay. What noise is that? <laughs> okay, so we've gotten through quite a bit and definitely reduced our medicine collection there. There you can see it. And now let me show you everything we've gotten rid of because that's always exciting. So there is our collection of everything we're getting rid of, not our timer, of course, but we'll recycle all the empty boxes and then I'll contact the paramedics or the hospital and see how best to dispose of the medicines that are no longer good. And we've made quite a good progress there. On there our is our cabinet, much cleaner. Things are all looking good. And we have Adelina, I mean Luna, right there. <laughs> you silly, <laughs> silly mommy. Me. Now, let me take a look really quickly into the cabinet and see if I can find a place to store those. So here next to our fridge, we have this cabinet where we keep glassware and I keep my extra mason jars for storage. And I was thinking the other day, we got these beer glasses as a wedding present, but we've never used them. So let me go ask my husband if he thinks we can declutter those. And then this might be a good place to store those really nice wine glasses so we remember to use them. Okay, so he said he is fine with getting rid of these. Obviously, you can see they are so dusty we haven't used them. And I have one, two, three, four, five of these to get rid of. So let me pull those out of the cabinet and see what kind of space we have then. So Luna's helping me by holding the door open. With my head. With her head. So let's get that because we have an old house and... The floors are not level, and some of the cabinets, the doors want to close. All 
right, so we got that and that. Okay, so now we've got your little ones there. Okay. Let me grab the other ones and see what will fit. All right, so yes, these are Riedel glasses, and these are the Norton glasses, which we enjoy a good Norton wine. <laughs> they need to be dusted and cleaned the next time we use them, but at least they'll have a nice storage space there. Okay. Hey, mom, the door stays. Hey, good. Do you realize it could stay? I did not realize that, so. Okay, so now, those are in there that gives us a better access to them so hopefully we'll remember to use them and I think that's good so let me show you the cabinet one more right, time so now we have even less stored in this cabinet we have things stored where we are most likely to use them by moving the wine glasses to the other cabinet and we are getting rid of these glasses as well so I am planning a trip to Goodwill so I'll make sure those get carefully loaded in a box <laughs> we have Luna telling us we're all done, right? Ta-da! So thanks for joining us. Hopefully you were able to get some decluttering, organizing, and cleaning done. You want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button if you enjoy seeing us get some decluttering finished in our home. And we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.